No. <laughs> Simple as that. No. Okay, so there may be some exceptions to working for free or not for any type of monetary exchange, right? But that's few and far between. Regardless of your skill level, you should get some type of payment for your services, right? If you're just starting or you're a professional. I mean, obviously, your rate should reflect your knowledge and your expertise. You're not just getting paid for the work you've done, you're getting paid for the knowledge and the experience that you bring to the table. Keep in mind all the money that you put into doing whatever it is that you do, whether it's graphic design or just straight up like artwork, whether you're, if you're painting uh, or doing like a video or a photo shoot, all that stuff costs money. All your equipment costs money. The computer that you create on costs money, right? So you gotta offset all those costs and those expenses that you have made by doing work for people and that's why you more or less got into the business in the first place because you want to take your shot at being an entrepreneur being self-employed you know being self-efficient right so yeah you should always get paid and it should be based on your experience so i don't recommend ever doing work for free there's exceptions to that obviously one of them being volunteer work. If there's something that you're passionate about, something that you have a passion for serving a community in need or, you know, a cause, whatever it is, you know, if it's something that means a lot to you, yeah, then absolutely do it for free. Do it because you care. Do I think you should ever do work for somebody who says they're gonna get you lots of follows? and likes and shares and they're gonna get your name out absolutely not <laughs> listen i've heard it from everyone i've heard it everywhere i've gone through this all um i have over 13 years experience not as a videographer but as a graphic designer four years experience as a videographer several years as a designer and a photographer and I've heard them all. I've heard every story. I've heard every gimmick that has ever been said, you know, like I'll be promised likes, I'll be promised follows, I'll be promised more customers. Yo, do this for me, man, and I'll make sure, you know, I get you in touch with all my, of my network and I guarantee you're gonna have a lot of work coming from this. I've heard that so many times, man. I've heard people just like trying to befriend me and say we're cool and like, yo man, like what's the love price on that? You know, and it's like, come on man, like, like I'm trying to make a living out of this. This is how I pay my bills. This is how I pay my rent. You're gonna get some really smooth talkers out there that are gonna gas you up, tell you how dope you are and try to get that friendly discount or, you know, that, uh, that free service so that in exchange you get you know followers or the potential of more business and I can guarantee you that that doesn't always happen um, if I were you like especially if you're in a place where you need to start making money on this start making money as soon as you can another exception I would say is probably um, you know an exchange of services you know someone's offering me I don't know like you name it you know in exchange for um a video or some design work or some photography then yeah that, that i can work with you know because there's something i need and that person offers like you know tattoo work <laughs> you know like if someone offers me like tattoo work and i they needed some video or some artwork done for them some graphic work then yeah that's a pretty cool exchange i'll take that exchange any day right if there's a a model that needs photography and you're just starting out in photography that's a good exchange right there. You need stuff for your portfolio. She needs stuff for her portfolio. So you're helping each other out. Like those are exceptions to working for money. You know, you don't always have to get money, but you should get something out of it. You should get something out of it for your work, you know, not just, you know, promises, you know, cause I mean, like those just don't always pan out the way you think they are. So I would suggest just being careful with stuff like that. As far as like how much to charge, you should have somewhat of an idea do the research i mean just go on google you'll find a pretty flat rate across the board and then you'll have an idea of where you stand on that look at what the pros are charging 
and then try to see where you are as far as like experience on that. If you're on the bottom end of that, you know, like maybe you charge less. Um, if you're getting up there, you know, you'll know how to rate yourself. So I would definitely do the research, look into how much people are charging. If you guys need numbers, um, message me or put a comment and, you know, I'll let you all know. Obviously, I have my rates. Um, they ain't cheap, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Instead of just doing like a bunch of product reviews and talking about the technical side of videography and photo and design, you know, I can offer more insight into the business side of it, um, creativity, uh, you know. I have other interests just like all of you. I might wanna share something about football or basketball at one point. I like to cook, I might do a cooking episode. You know, you never know. We'll see what happens, man. Uh, don't expect to always find the same thing on my channel, but if you like what you're hearing, if you like what you're seeing, man, give it a like and a follow and a subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Check out my portfolio, follow me on Instagram, and I hope to see you for the next one. Peace.